Hey Virgo, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your mid-March general love reading. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that everyone is doing well. In case you are new to the channel, I am a Virgo rising, so I'm always invested <laughs> in the outcome of these readings. I want to see what's going to happen. I do it completely unbiased. I just want to check out the same energy that you guys are getting to see if it applies to me as well. So Virgo, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was Back to Life by Soul to Soul. I'll leave the link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it, follow on the reading if you so choose to. Now, in the song, the hook of the song, they say back to life, back to reality. And then another end of the song, they say, however do you want me? However do you need me? And immediately my mind went into the word however, okay? So say, for example, you're talking to someone and they're saying like, we went across the street to look at this store. However, it was closed. It's like something that got in between the situation, something that put a pause to something moving forward. So... I feel like somebody's love language is on pause. Like they're not delivering their feelings, their true feelings, their true intentions. They're, they're always, it's always some type of interference. That's what I'm really getting. There's always some type of interference when it comes to this situation with you and this individual that you're thinking about or that you're write, watching this reading for. And I almost said writing this reading. So some of you guys could be writers, which would make a lot of sense because Virgo, you guys are ruled by Mercury, right? So the thought process, the communication, some of you guys could be writers, also, mercurial energy, communication, and the mental. Some of you guys can get a text message for someone very soon. This person, especially if you two have not been speaking, or you could be thinking about texting this person something or literally writing something to someone, but you feel like you're just being, yeah, because I'm hearing however, like a pause. Like somebody wants to send some type of communication, but they don't know if they're doing too much. Like you don't know if you're being too vulnerable, you're giving too much of yourself. Again, either you could feel like this or your person that you're watching the reading for could feel like this, okay? So let's see what we get for you guys today. We're gonna change the card at the top and the bottom of the deck. We will do the same for your clarifying deck and it's always there, absolutely no reversals in either one of my decks right now. So once I start shuffling, if I get reversals, I'll read it as such. Bottom of the deck, absolutely. What did I just say to y'all? And you're watching what I'm doing. What do you got right here? Did I say some of you guys could be writing something? Um, and, and even though this is a book, it could have something to do with text messages. Some of you guys could be authors as well. Hey, I'm an author too. What's up? Um, <laughs> some of you guys could be authors too. Um, some of you guys, could, and I know this is a love reading, but it could be because I'm getting this about feedback. You see how this person's giving some feedback. You may not like what they're saying. If you are a writer and you have an editor, they could possibly be a water sign or because we are in Piscean season, which is water, you may get some feedback from your editor that you may not be very happy about. Because I am, you do have a four cups, but on the side of him, there's one, two, three. And we are in the third month. So for some of you all, if you are a writer, you may be getting some feedback that is not desirable, so you feel. But also getting back into love. What I'm getting is, I'm hearing the song again, however do you want me, however do you need me. And if you notice right here, there's three cups right here. So you could have been with this person for three plus years, but you see how these cups are smaller compared to this one? This person is telling you, I love you this much. I, I'm overflowing with my emotions for you. But it's like, I'm hearing, you know how somebody says like, this person is not showing their hand. In other words, not showing the whole truth about a situation. For some of you all, you're questioning whether or not this, this person's emotional um, output is true if it's genuine. Somebody's questioning somebody's genuineness is what I'm getting. Okay. So let's go through the deck until we get you guys a major arcana, which will be the hermit. We will get the card that comes before and the card that comes after. And we will get clarifiers for both for Virgo, Summon Rise, and Venus individuals. Yeah, somebody wants something big. They want it all. Ace of Pentacles, this could be your energy. But also, I'm telling you, there's an energy of like some type of interference here. I want you guys to really pay attention to this. You got this strong animal who's ready to hold the weight of something on their shoulders. Or you may have felt like you held the weight of this relationship for the longest on your shoulders. So this pentacle, so this could be you. Some of you guys could also have a very stocky or solid build. Or someone could see you as being a solid person. Notice right here, there's a rabbit. Talks about fertility and abundance and grace. 
And then there's a weasel right here in between this. And like I said, there's a pause. There's something, some type of weasel-like behavior. And I know people can say this is fair, but I'm really getting weasel right here. There could be like some type of weasel-like behavior that is standing in between the abundance and a solid foundation. I'm really getting that for sure. Really getting that. Okay, so let's go ahead and go through the deck and get your, yeah, this is someone that you have history with with the Six of Cups behind it. Nine of Pentacles, single woman, single man. You, some of you all may choose to be single. Or you are, like I said, are single. Because of some type of deception here, possibly in the past. I feel like there was definitely some de some um, deception. Okay? So let's go through the deck again. Yeah, wow. Okay. But you guys, neither one of you have completely moved on with the hangman. And this also is Piscean energy. Pentacles. You see how these pentacles are falling out? But then I feel like somebody may have weaseled you out of some money. I'm just thinking about this weasel here. And then money is being lost. Now, also keep in mind, because we are in Piscean season right now, some of y'all may need to be very mindful about trusting someone because they may try to weasel you out of some money, okay? Because they think you're a damn fool. The fool card could be, okay, the fool is Aries, also Aquarius. Also could be a Gemini because in one hand you have the Gemini symbol, also Cancer in the other, okay? And I want you to see both of these are major arcana, so that's a definite energy. Okay, and if you notice how I'm holding this, he's facing the direction of this hangman. So for some of you all, ooh, I'm here hanging you out to dry. Now, either A, this could be someone trying to do this to you, or this person may feel like that's how you're trying to treat them. Okay, let's see. Let's go ahead and get you guys Major Arcana, because this is very intriguing. Again, it will be the Hermit for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals. I'm hearing it. Whoa. You, this is so crazy. Like, all day. And I'm not joking. There's 22 major arcanas in the decks. All day, I have been getting, like, major arcanas back to back to back. And you guys are watching this. Look at that. The death card. Scorpio. Piscean energy. Pisces. And also cancer with that crab there. And then also more Piscean energy right here with the high priestess. You have three major arcanas back to back. Something is going to end because some type of secret has come to light. And somebody is like, okay, I'm out of here. First, middle, last initial could be J, B, C, O, H, and U. J, B, C, O, H, and U. This could be you or your person's first, middle, last initials. Now, also with the high priestess, this is someone who's very intuitive. This is also talking about your intuition as well. So somebody has already sensed that something is up, some type of funky behavior, some type of sneakiness is going down. Um, huh. Okay. So remember the song. In the beginning, it's back to life, back to reality. And that's the hook of the song. Like, if you notice, she's just floating gracefully. She's not paying attention to what's going on around her. She's just floating. I'm going to say this again. Also, some of you guys could definitely be authors or you're getting ready to become an author because this is the second card you have with a book here. And also, what I'm getting is that something is already predestined, preordained. It's already been written. Some type of ending, some type of um, reality. And I just heard alternate reality. Back to life, back to reality. Duh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Some Somebody was not seeing something for what it was. They may have been a little foolish because they trusted their heart more than anything. And that's not to say you shouldn't. Yeah, because I feel like a lot of you all were jumping through hoops for someone, being extremely loyal. Because dogs talk about loyalty and companionship. Jumping through hoops for people because you didn't see this person for who they truly were. Mm, okay, let's, let's get this hermit. Because I'll be here all day doing this. <laughs> Yeah, there's something you you guys have a lot of major arcanas back to back, and again, when you have that like that, there's an energy of um something that needs to be dealt with, and it's going to be dealt with sooner than later. And I know that because look at what we got here. You guys are watching my hands. First card, two of wands, need to choose a destination and a direction to go in, and then the eight of wands, something coming in fast and quick, fast moving communication, and something coming out of the blue and unexpected. So something is coming in very quickly with a road that you need to travel. And if you notice, the wands are going this way, he's going this way, and look. So a lot of you all are meet already choosing a destination or a direction to go in. You could be dealing with a fire sign, a Leo Sag, or an Aries, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individual. Or this could be happening in the fire sign season, which comes up right after Pisces, Aries season. Some of you guys could be deciding to make some type of movement in Aries season. Now keep in mind, Aries is fire, right? Fire is action, tenacity, vitality for movement, ambition, um... But fire can also be hasty, right? So some of you guys, especially with the Eight of Wands, you could be making a decision to move out of a situation very quickly or moving down a path very quickly. 
without knowing all the facts in the situation. Because if you notice, he has his lantern lit so it can show, you know, light a path to his way. But his eyes are closed and he's looking down. So they're telling you, choose wisely your actions before you move forward. Could be dealing with a August Leo also right here. You got a lot of fire. Yeah, ooh, okay, yeah. Something possibly with August or eight because you do have the eight of wands right here. And then when I stopped on the deck, you have the eight of pentacles. So something with eight. You could have known this person for eight plus years. You guys could have been separated from this person for eight days, eight weeks, or eight months. Also, eight is a symbol of infinity. So some of you guys could have felt like this person was your soulmate. Even a snake here, which you guys, is shaped almost in an eight. You know, bottom of the deck, you have, <laughs> so I just said with all this fire, right? Something could be shaking in Aries season and then you have major kind of emperor Aries. Okay. Something could be going down in Aries season. And it's crazy because I almost said it's going, it's going down in Chinatown and you have an emperor here. Yeah. And you know, that's just a saying because people get so offended in the comments like, that was racist or something. No, I, you, it's a saying like people say silly stuff and funny stuff. And I'm hearing like it's going down in Chinatown like somebody's about to get cut off. Straight chopped. Okay. Let's part the deck. See? And I said straight chopped and you got swords here. A bunch of swords. Somebody gonna get cut off. You got the seven of swords. Liar, cheater, manipulator, sneak, conniver, some type of deception. For sure. I knew it. I knew something was something was funky. I feel like for some of you all, you're going to find out about some deception in Aries season. Or again, because you do have the major arcana. Anytime I have major arcana, that's either their sun sign or time frame. I feel like for a lot of you all, you're going to find out about some type of deception in Aries season. And somebody's going to be getting cut out. Okay. Now, going back to what I'm hearing with the song, however do you want me, however do you need me, I feel like this person is going to be doing some lying, or you're going to find out that this person was not as genuine as they claim to be when it comes to you. Yeesh. Okay, look at this. He's tiptoeing, thinking he's getting away with something, but he's looking back and looking, looking dead at him like, yep, I see you. I see you, my boy and my girl. I see you. A lot of fire energy here. I'm telling you, a lot of you guys, either you have strong fire in your chart, or you're dealing with somebody who has fire in their chart. Just seeing a tower, Scorpio, Aries, okay? Okay, so that's going to clarify for the two of wands as well as the eight of wands. Bottom of the deck, okay? I'm telling you, somebody's going to cut someone off. Look at look what you got right here that's sticking out that wants to show itself so bad. Five of swords, conflict, arguments, disagreements. You got two people, well, three, all together, one, two, three, but two people are walking away. Someone feels as though they are the victor. If you look at his, he's smiling, he's smirking, he's happy. But look at his hair, all tattered and withered, which means this is affecting this person also. They're in their head a lot about the situation. With the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck, you know, somebody's not very happy because Cups is the emotions and feelings. Ten of Cups of right is the happily ever after the family life. You can have two plus children with this individual. And it's interesting because I'm looking at these two children. They have two of wands. Two is a number of balance. In reverse, something is definitely out of whack, not balanced. And I just heard turn that frown upside down with that rainbow upside down. Really think about what you want to do, especially if there are children involved. And I'm not telling anyone to stay in a situation. I don't. I wouldn't do it, and I haven't. So I wouldn't tell anyone to stay in a situation. But really think, and I'm just saying that because again. You have somebody choosing to move down the path very quickly. So really think about what you want to do, especially if there are children involved, especially young children, because these children look fairly young, okay? I just heard six, six and three-year-old, six, three, and four. I'm hearing. Possibly the children could also possibly be water signs, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Let's get a clarifier for two of wands, okay? Ten of wands. So you just have the ten of cups. Look at that. Look at that, and the tower wants to show itself. So you just had the Ten of Cups reverse, and now you have the Ten of Wands. That's carrying a heavy load, a heavy burden. And so I feel like, let's see what's up under here. Somebody wants to heal a situation. Star card, wish fulfillment and healing. Could be dealing with Aquarius. But more than anything, with the Two of Wands being clarified by the Ten of Wands, somebody is like, I don't want to choose the wrong path. That's why he's not on any path. He's in the grass. He's not even at the beginning. Somebody doesn't want to make a false decision or... or have a false start because something can move very quickly. Somebody can be coming at you very quickly. Um, they want a uh, answer for you very from you very quickly about a decision because a decision has to be made here. And for a lot of you all, you're questioning what you want to do moving forward because it does feel like um, this this situation may lead to more heaviness. 
And I, just look at this. All three of your cards are fire. So there's definitely either a fire sign person or this is going to happen in Aries season for some of you all. Bottom of the deck. And it's like it's something that you're not going to desire. I always say, okay, look at this. Looks like a thumbs down. Like somebody's like, nope, I don't like it. Whatever this fire sign person or whatever happens in fire sign season, somebody is not liking it. Because also, aces are a brand new star. So for a lot of y'all, you're like, no, I don't want a new star with you because it's just going to lead me to more heaviness. And I'm hearing the song again, back to reality. Somebody has had an aha moment. You see how they, you got that shine and that glow right there? Somebody has had an aha moment, okay? And that's why someone's like, nope. Also, again, if you're not dealing with fire sign, you definitely can have fire in your chart because you just have it all over your reading, okay? Let's get a clarifier for the Eight of Wands. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Eight of Wands. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Something definitely with eight. <laughs> Look at that. You have the eight of wands being clarified by the eight of pentacles. And remember when we stop right here, you have the eight of pentacles again. So somebody is going to say, I want to work on it. And that's why you have the ten of wands up, right? Some of you all, you're saying no. You have the ace of wands in reverse. And then for others, okay, yep. And even this, I'm getting half and half. You got one. Some of you all are going to go in this direction. And others are going to go this direction. So some of you all are going to say, yes, I want to work on this situation. Because the eight of pentacles, he's putting in the physical work. So some of you all are going to say, yes, let's give it one more chance. I want to put in a little bit more work in this situation. And then for others, you may not trust this individual with that seven of swords that we've seen multiple times. Because you feel as though this person is being deceptive. Like there's some deception there. And it, and it may feel like a heavy burden. Hmm. I'm going to hear that again. However, however do you want me? However do you need me? Again, the word however is a pause. Someone isn't sure. And right here, he clearly is at a pause. He's at an impasse. He's at a standstill. Someone has paused. They're like, I don't know if this is going to be abundant. I don't know if this is going to bring me joy. And it looks like it could be quite difficult because you do have 10 of wands here. This is, whatever the case, whether you decide to work on it or not, it just seems like there's heaviness in a situation that needs to be addressed. And somebody's not addressing it because if you notice, he has these wands in front of him and his head is down, which means he's not looking at things head on. He's even allowing things to obscure his, ver his vision, covering things, not seeing things truly and clearly for what they are. Just like even here, he has lantern lit like, yeah, I want to see the path, but his eyes are closed and his head is down. So it's like some of you all, like I said, are having a very difficult time navigating this situation for half. Because keep in mind, this is your first card. Half of you all feel like this is going to be heavy. And the other half is like, yep, I'm going for it. Let's work on it, you know. And it could be you who's saying that because you are the pinnacles. You're saying like, yes, let's work on it. Is what I'm getting. <laughs> back to reality. Back to life, back to reality. I'm noticing right here with this herd of um, sheep. You know, sheep, they just follow the herd. But you have one who's broke away from the herd. And the star is like coming down right there. Back to reality. Somebody, again, has had an aha moment. In the past, you would have just went and followed, just like the herd followed whatever this person said. You would have just went with the flow of everything. But somebody's definitely having an aha moment and, and there's an energy of awakening here. Okay? So, Virgo, Summer Rising and Venus Individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.